New legislation, including tougher penalties for human traffickers and tough new penalties for those who pay women less than men for the same job. Nationally, there are some items of interest, too, I want to point out. Gun laws are getting tougher in California, but in Texas, they're going to be a lot easier, specifically for certain owners, to carry their weapons in public places. And finally, in Hawaii, you have to be 18 to join the military, but you have to be 21 to buy or use cigarettes. So tough new cigarette laws out all the way out in California. We are live on the Upper East Side. Ben, I'm like, wait, who is it today? Ben and Liz. Back to you guys. <laughs> Happy New Year. Thanks for keeping it straight, honey. Thanks, oh, Julian. Happy New You're Year. Welcome. See you in a little bit. All right. Newly released emails show how the Chicago Mayor's Office, police, and the body that investigates police shootings all coordinated their response in the months after a white officer fatally shot a black teen in 2014. The emails show that aides to Mayor Rahm Emanuel knew the case could become politically explosive, especially the video of the incident. The clip of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald being shot by the officer was not made public until five weeks ago, more than a year after it happened. It led to protests and calls for Emanuel to resign. He said he did not see the video prior to its release. But some protesters say they don't believe that. The officer has been charged with murder and pleaded not guilty this week at his arraignment. All right, the NYPD is buying new rifles for its emergency services unit at a cost of more than $700,000. The Daily News says a total of 450 guns will be purchased from a company called Phoenix Distributors in Feasterville, Pennsylvania. That works out to $1,620 per rifle. But according to the paper, it means each member of the unit will have their own gun instead of having to share like they did in the past. All right, the city has agreed to a tentative contract with the Correction Officers Union. It gives them an 11% raise over seven years, which is similar to what police and fire unions have received. It also includes provisions that make it easier to prosecute inmates who break the law while in jail. The union's 7,000 members must still approve that contract. A Medal of Honor winner accused of a hit and run has turned himself in. Kyle Carpenter is a Marine and was awarded the military's highest honor last year. Police say on December 8th, Carpenter hit a pedestrian in South Carolina and then drove away. Carpenter was released on bond. Police do not believe alcohol or drugs were a factor in this case. Okay, the mother of a so-called affluenza teen is back in the U.S., charged with helping her son to flee to Mexico. Yeah, Tiny Couch is being held on a million dollars bail in Los Angeles. She was extradited from Mexico after being arrested along with her 18-year-old son, Ethan. Earlier this week, they both fled to Mexico last month after an investigation was launched into whether Ethan violated his probation following a 2013 drunk driving accident in which he killed four people. Ethan Couch had used the affluenza defense, claiming that his parents' wealth made it impossible for him to tell right from wrong. He remains in Mexico after being granted a delay in his extradition to the United States. Mm -hmm. All right, the city's new speed cameras have caught a record number of motorists. There's only 140 cameras, but they handed out more than one million wow. tickets to drivers in speeding school zones. That's a lot. That's more than double from last year. At 50 bucks a pop, that means an additional $50 million in the city's uh, pocket. And so drivers are going to have to pay up. The NYPD has also given drivers more than 130,000 handwritten speeding tickets. All right, we continue our look at New Year's celebrations around the world and around the country. The Space Needle was the center of New Year's festivities in Seattle, hometown of our producer, Joel Morton, who's in the control room right now. Hey, Joel, there we go. About 20,000 people admired a display of 1,800 individual fireworks shooting off from the Space Needle itself. Look at that. And for the first time this year, they blasted off from the very top of the Space Needle, too. There you go. David Cook. Discover an idol one last time. American Idol, the farewell season. It all starts Wednesday at 8 on Fox 5. It's the perfect time to get the gift you've waited for all year. The redesigned Honda Accord. Complete with a new look, improved fuel efficiency, and Pandora compatibility standard. Happy Honda Days end soon. Hurry in and you can get a great deal on the Accord, the most durable, longest-lasting car in its class. Now, at your Honda dealer. It's, 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 it's bigger and better than ever. 
It's that time of year again, and we're ready. Can't, can't wait. Assorted General Mills cereals, $1.99 with your card. Stock up on the party's See you there. Let the games begin. Experience the power, the passion, and the pageantry of medieval times. Tickets starting at just $26.95. Visit MedievalTimes.com. Here's a great idea. You know that room you want to redo? Make it fresh and beautiful in just three days. Guaranteed. End of year savings means a new room now. At Raymore and Flanagan, save $220 on this entertainment center. $252 on this beautiful chenille sofa. Save $500 on this seven-piece dining set. All on sale with no interest for 60 months. Get your new look for the new year at Raymore and Flanagan. Two names say it all. Ready to winter with Infinity. Now through January 4th, lease the all-wheel drive Infinity Q50 for $309 a month. Visit your Tri-State Infinity Retailer. Dunkin' Donuts' unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches, freshly made all day. And now you can enjoy two English muffin egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches for $4. That's breakfast when abs. America runs on Dunkin'. The Fox 5 NY Weather App, brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. out there. Yeah, nice start though to 2016. It's a little chillier, more seasonal, if you will. Quiet and, um, on the streets. It's not raining. That's good. Still a little cloudy, but it uh, is going to improve, I think, over time. This is a good time to get out and move around I New York City. City. Well, this time. It's because so nice. there's nobody out. Yeah, it's great. I mean, as you can see, this woman is walking down the street, but she's alone. Everybody else is um, sleeping off their party, I think, from last night. I know. How great would it be to just be able to move around like that all the time? But again, it's the people here that make this city so great, right? That is true. All right. Why just pop the cork off champagne? If you could do this, take a sword <laughs> and just whack them off. Uh, that's two men did yesterday. They faced off in what's known as a champagne sabering competition mm -hmm. at the Coral House Catering Hall in Baldwin, Long Island. That's a lot of champs. They each had one minute to open as many bottles as they could using only a saber. The winner, Frank Esposito, he sliced off 50 wow. corks. Not enough to break the Guinness World Record, though. 66 is the current record set by a man from Queens back I mean, I, in August. I guess you don't want to break the bottle. That doesn't help you there. And I've seen uh, friends do that. It makes me a little nervous. You've seen them do this? Oh, yeah. Really? I, yeah, and we had a party. With like over a chef's knife or something? Just a knife at my parents' house. Oh, We're in the makes backyard. Me nervous. And, and it worked. I mean, it was one shot and it was off. I didn't do it. I was like yeah. standing back, holding my ears, like avoiding <laughs> the cork because I, I don't like opening up. The champagne in a regular way. Oh, I do way. find it, it satisfying, nervous. actually. Yeah. I, I, it I want nothing to do with it. I'll drink yeah. it, but I don't want to open it. <laughs> 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 all right, Sam is here with the weather. What's going on? Hey, guys, I hope all that champagne didn't go to waste. No, I'm yeah. sure they drank I'm sure it was sticky bottles, so it's a lot. But, um, you know, we are celebrating now as we head into 2016. It's going to start to feel more like January across the area. You know, really nice, though. Temperatures are chilly, 39 right now in Central Park. We do have mostly cloudy skies, but as we head throughout the day, especially the weekend, we'll brighten things up for you. 37 in Sussex, 40 Islip, and 40 right now in Bridgeport. Winds are out of the west, and it does make it feel a little bit colder. We have wind chills near freezing from Belmar to Newark, especially Monticello and Poughkeepsie. Some chilly, chilly stuff out there. You can see the cloud cover flurries north and west. That's where they'll stay. So the flurries will not be able to reach us, but the colder air along with high pressures now building in. We have a storm along the east coast, some rain that's moving away from us. And as it does so, we'll start to see some breaks in the clouds with the drier weather pushing in. Today, our high temperatures 39 to 45, still just a touch warmer than normal, but uh, we're going to be going down the next couple of days, gradually turning colder. For your Saturday, 41. Breeze makes it feel like 30 on Sunday, 43. And there's 
the cold weather Monday, Tuesday, high temperatures will only be in the 30s. If you want more details, your daily and hourly forecast, you can get them on the Fox 5 NY Weather app. You can download it at the Apple iTunes Store or also the Google Play Store. Some good stuff on that weather app. And now we'll get a check at your traffic with Kelly Dillon. Do we have good stuff on the roads or we still have some accidents out there? New Jersey is our hot spot this morning. It's where we only have accidents. Uh, elsewhere, it's very quiet, lighter than normal volume. Looks like a most people finally fell asleep after celebrating last night. Uh, so let's begin in Rutherford on Route 17, traveling northbound right by Union Avenue. All lanes are still closed and detoured for this serious accident. Also, just getting word of an accident now, uh, southbound Garden State Parkway uh, right by 135 in Clark. That takes out at least one lane. And in South Brunswick, northbound Route 1, all lanes still closed and detoured by Dean's Lane uh, with this accident investigation. A live look outside now at the Tappan Zee Bridge where things are nice and crawl quiet. Uh, Westchester and Rockland County bound uh, moving okay. Still also no trouble on the BQE traveling towards the Brooklyn Bridge. That is in great shape. Everyone moving the speed limit. Trains are all on or close to schedule. They are on a holiday or weekend schedule today, so do keep that in mind. And alternate side parking rules and those meter rules suspended for the new year. Ben, back to you. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Duke's off this morning. Maybe he's out looking for a cheeseburger or something after that muscle and fitness <laughs> shoot. We have sports today. I'm just kidding. Uh, a couple of college bowl games last night. First up, number one Clemson facing number four Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. Clemson took the lead in the third quarter on this drive from Wayne Gallman, and they did not look back. Same quarter, and Hunter Renfro is going to run it in here in a second for 34 yards. Here he goes for the touchdown. Clemson goes on to win it. 37 to 17, they advanced to the national championship game for the first time since 1981 when they won the whole thing. All right, number two, Alabama, and will play Clemson in the national championship. All right, back here in New York, the investigation continues into the Clay Anthony early shooting and robbery. Still no arrests in that case. Several of his fellow Knicks visited him in the hospital <clears throat> yesterday. The 24-year-old posted this picture from his hospital bed on Instagram and long message saying, in part, a simple celebration of a friend's birthday turned into a day that will change my life forever, but for the better. He was shot Wednesday morning by a group of masked men after leaving a strip club in Queens. Sources tell Fox 5 he may have been set up. Mm. Knicks coach Derek Fisher says the team has told its players to be careful. We talked to our guys about the situation and just reminded them, uh, you know, of how serious this is and uh, that there are certain things that come with being uh, visible in terms of being a, a public figure, so to speak. And now here's where the story gets even more bizarre. Police say somebody threw a Molotov cocktail at that strip club yesterday morning. Investigators are not sure yet if it is connected to the early case. Okay. Only one local hockey team in action last night, the Islanders, up in Buffalo to face the Sabres. No score in the second when Franz Nielsen scores his 14th of the year on the power play. Isles go on to win it 2-1, to one, the final. All right, this is a fun story. A Brooklyn bar is definitely shaking things up in the new year. Yours Sincerely in Bushwick offers 20 cocktails on tap. It works like a draft system similar to that used for beer. The idea is to be able to deliver a craft-worthy sip fast and cheap. Drinks run between four and nine bucks, lower than what many cocktail-oriented bars in the city charge. But creating a menu of tap-friendly cocktails is not as easy as it sounds. The sure. recipes had to be developed for drinks that would always taste fresh, which means filtering them at least five times. It brings the viscosity of, of the cocktail all into the same realm, um, so they mix really well. And then you're able to, once you taste this cocktail, you're able to actually pinpoint each of the flavors. That's quite the beard. Puts Yours, your to sincerely, shame. it does. <laughs> Officially opens this Saturday. Well, let's be honest. I mean, if I was in Bushwick when I had that beard earlier this week, they wouldn't have even thought I had facial hair. No, you would so. have just been passed up. Yeah. I wonder if those Clean drinks are, are good. I mean, you got to keep them fresh. I would imagine it would change the taste a little. But they, I bet they're pretty good. I bet they look yeah. good. All right. In New York, we have a ball drop, but in Georgia, they celebrate the New Year with. A peach drop. That's right. Atlanta carried on its downtown tradition by dropping a massive 800 pound, 8 foot tall, and 8 foot wide peach. It began to fall just before the clock struck midnight and was followed by a fireworks show. The peach drop is the largest New Year's Eve celebration in the Southeast. Steve Lacey, weeknights on Fox 5 News at 5 and 10. Introducing the Joe Survival Suit by Joseph Aboon with innovative fabric.
a breathable chest piece with a lightweight construction, and a slim fit designed to move with you. Available exclusively at Men's Warehouse. Discover the styles of the Starving Artists Art Sale. Discover the elegance that only real hand-painted oils on canvas can bring to your home or office. Large sofa size oil paintings as low as $19. Smaller paintings from $7. And absolutely nothing over $69. Discover the Starving Artists Art Sale. In New York at the LaGuardia Marriott, the Melville Marriott, and the Westchester Marriott. Also in Jersey at the Saddlebrook Marriott, the Hotel Woodbridge at Metro Park, and the Bridgewater Marriott. Sunday, 11 to 4. This is my greatest, and this is Utah Life Elevated. <laughs> How else do you think he gets around so fast? Take the reins this holiday and get the Mercedes-Benz you've always wanted during the winter event. Hurry, offers end January 4th. After trying Brookside Crunchy Clusters, Carly B tweeted, at this point, I should just be a Brookside Chocolate Ambassador. Well, I am sorry, Carly. It's something you earn. Brookside, talk about delicious. Introducing the Joe Survival Suit by Joseph Abood with innovative fabric a breathable chest piece with a lightweight construction, and a slim fit designed to move with you. Available exclusively at Men's Warehouse. We are back, and I was accused of being crotchety this morning by Ms. I'm sorry, maybe Gilligan. that was, it's just because I asked you whether you wanted to wear a hat, and you're like, no, yes. I don't, do you? Okay yes. then. <laughs> well, that would was you? Your morning. I mean, I will gladly share this hat with you. Well, a lot more goes into making my hair look Okay. What are you I'll put yeah. it on when I'm done. Did I I'll spend a lot of time on my hair? We'll keep it right here. Yeah. Well, your your hair will stay put no matter what. That's I think. pretty much true. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're actually starting uh, with a sad story this morning. The news came out that actor Wayne Rogers has died. He passed away yesterday <laughs> after suffering complications from pneumonia. He's perhaps best known for playing Captain John Trapper McIntyre on Mash. He also starred in the NBC detective drama City of Angels and the CBS sitcom House Calls. He was 82 years old. And George Lucas is apologizing for comments he made about Disney. In an interview with Charlie Rose, he referred to the Star Wars films as his kids, and he said he was very intimately involved. And then about his quote unquote kids, this was said. To and sell you them sold off. Them. I sold them to the white slavers that take these things and. and uh, <laughs> okay, basically referring to Disney as white slavers. Then he changed his tune. He released a statement saying, I misspoke and used a very inappropriate analogy, and for that I apologize. He said he chose Disney as the custodians of his franchise because he respects the company and Bob Iger's leadership. And Quentin Tarantino may spend 2016 in court. The filmmaker was hit by a copyright infringement suit asking for hundreds of millions of dollars for his 2012 movie Django Unchained. It was a huge critical success and it made a lot of money. Well, two screenwriters claim that he stole their premise from their script entitled Freedom. The suit says there are many similarities between the two scripts, but the key plot point that Tarantino allegedly stole is when Django returns to free his wife from her plantation owner. The plaintiffs claim that they registered their script with the Writers Guild back in 2004. They also had meetings at two different agencies where they discussed Tarantino directing their film and the script was put up on a website so it could have been read. Django Unchained grossed $425 million worldwide. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I never saw that movie. It was very good. Very hard I to watch. Wanna, I don't want to be accused of, see, I think you look so great in the hat. Some of us are in a good mood for the new year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. Get in the spirit then. Hey, I, I we have the in glasses. The we have the glasses. Okay, good. Yeah, we could do this. this All right. Happy New Year, everybody. I wish Happy I had a. Oh, you have those. Uh, well. 
Who, what do you Those, need? Uh, you know, the noisemakers. Oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, here we you have go. everything here. See? We're all set. Very good. That's Very good. good. All right, we Ben. And we got the... Back in it. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one we wanted. Right. Time now for the Facebook Fan of the Hour. All it right. is Martiza Mendez. I'm sorry, Maritza Mendez. And if you would like to be a Facebook Fan of the Hour, let's see. Just like our Good Day page. Up. Yes, I know. We both can't read without going... Good Day Fan of the Hour brought to you by Mazda. Driving matters. When does driving matter most? Finding your new favorite road? Or when just taking a drive turns into a drive for good? This holiday, take a test drive during the Mazda Drive for Good event, and we'll give back an hour of our time to local causes. Buy any new Mazda, and we'll donate to St. Jude or a charity you choose. Because driving matters most when you're driving for good. Cancer doesn't care you don't smoke that much. Cancer doesn't care you've cut back, or that you'll quit someday. Because nearly 15,000 people a year under 55 die of cancer caused by smoking. So, no, cancer doesn't care you don't call yourself a smoker. But the day you hear it's cancer, you'll care. And your family will care. Care enough to quit smoking today. Visit nysmokefree.com. I will always protect you because you are my sons. We are my family. Everybody betrays you eventually. Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir! Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir! A boy has hands to strangle and fingers to pull trigger. A boy is very dangerous. Victory! 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 season is here and it's time to celebrate with the best savings of the year we're making this holiday you're gonna get jolly the happiest of holidays drive home in the all-new 2016 tucson for an incredible 199 a month for 36 months visit the hyundai holiday sales event today what if fox put four of tv's best comedies together on one night we can't do that but what if we could oh yes yes, yes! we did it's showtime the new fox tuesday is comedy's biggest night with new girl grandfather brooklyn 99 and the grinder you think that'll work i know it might it all starts tuesday at eight on fox 5. from fox 5 news this is good day new york Good day, New York. It is January 1st, 2016. Hello, everybody. I'm Ben Simmons. And I'm Liz Dallum. Thanks so much for joining us. It feels good to say that, 2016. It does. Yes, although it's a little scary that we're more than halfway through the decade already. I know. We were just saying how quickly it goes. All right, it's going to be a dry and cooler day to kick off the new year with highs in the low to mid-40s. Samantha has the full forecast coming up. Here's to a healthy and happy 2016. About a million people helped usher in the new year last night in Times Square. <laughs> this morning, cleanup crews are busy doing their thing. All right, a historic West Orange a Church in New Jersey goes up in flames. The raging fire is now under control, but not before doing significant damage to St. Mark's Episcopal Church. Bill Cosby is breaking his silence with a tweet telling his friends and fans, thank you. And now it looks like his wife will have to testify in a defamation lawsuit brought against her husband by seven women alleging sexual assaults. And with the new year comes minimum wage hikes for thousands of workers. We're going to have all the details coming up on that. Plus a couple other new laws going uh, into effect yeah. around the country Some on this changes. January 1st. Yes, indeed. You have a nice night. I did. You went out. I did. I went out with some friends. Uh, we went to dinner at Tony DiNapoli's, not too far from here, a group of 20 people. So I was home right after the ball dropped. Nice. So, yeah, it was nice. It was low key. Good you still, meal. I'm impressed you made it out past midnight. That Thanks, is, uh, Samantha yeah. and I were in bed. <laughs> we missed the well, ball you drop. You had a much earlier morning. You had a much earlier morning. I thought about having yeah. my husband wake me up to see the ball drop, and I was like, eh. It's the same thing every You'll, year. You're going to get used to missing it. <laughs> yeah. This is my third year in a row of just, I you know, know, being fast asleep. It's kind of it, sad. So. But do you guys have resolutions? I don't really do that. Yeah. I, I, I don't really probably either. should, but I just don't. 
I don't know. I haven't really even thought about it. Do yeah. you? I try to, you know, tell myself I'm not going to complain. I feel like I complain a lot when it's cold in here or, you know, <laughs> I'm tired, but we'll see. Yeah. You just try to live Positive a healthy attitude. lifestyle, this and yeah. that. Um, but we do have changes coming, you know, as we head into the new year. We've been very, very warm, so warm for Christmas and December as a whole. It was a record breaker. Uh, the warmest December on record by far. I think we shattered the old record by about seven degrees. Um, so now we're going to see those changes. It's going to feel more like winter and more like January. Here's a few records for this day, New Year's Day. And in 1869, nine inches of snow. We haven't even had one snowflake yet. We did have that wintry mix northwest of here, but in Central Park, we haven't had any of that yet. The wettest, 1888, two inches of rain. Coldest, negative four degrees in 1918. We're not going to see weather that cold, but um, there's a pretty big change coming, and we'll start to feel it. But it is winter after all. It is January. January and it's going to start to feel more like it. 39 degrees right now with a westerly wind about 10 miles per hour. Wind chills are in the 30s and temps are in the 30s northwest of us. Even here now we're down to 39 degrees, but you can see the colder air building into Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, and it's going to be creeping in our direction for the next couple of days. Starting the day off kind of on a gray note here, but off to the south and west, there is high pressure drier air, and that's going to be nudging in through the day, kicking this storm farther out to sea away from us, and we'll be looking pretty good. So for your afternoon today, we're looking at mainly cloudy skies giving way to sunshine, and temperatures will slowly start to rise. We're up to 45 around lunchtime. Normal high is 39, so it's still just a smidge warmer than normal. And then a chilly evening coming up. Temps will go down to about 40, and then in the 30s by tomorrow morning. Weekend looking good, mostly sunny with the breeze. It feels colder out there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Here's when we have that colder air. And by Tuesday, temperatures are hovering around the freezing mark during the day. At least we'll have the sunshine. It's going to be nice and bright. Still no snowstorms heading in our direction. Now we're going to get a check at your traffic. Kelly, good morning and Happy New Year. How are we doing good out morning. there? Good morning. Happy New Year, Sam. Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. A few problem spots are still working this morning on the roadways. Let's start on Route 17 in New Jersey, right by Union Avenue in Rutherford. We still have all lanes closed and detoured with a serious accident. Uh, a traffic signal also fell down with this. So that should be closed for quite some time as crews are on the scene working to repair that. An accident investigation still ongoing in South Brunswick on northbound Route 1, right by Dean's Lane. We still have all lanes closed and detoured. Detoured. Now a live look outside at the Grand Central Parkway. We have an accident now, unfortunately, traveling eastbound uh, just past here. This is the backup. It's right by the Kew Gardens interchange. This crash, at least two lanes are out. And as you can see, uh, delays really starting to build. So definitely avoid that spot. Inbound George upstairs and downstairs. That remains in great shape. I'm not seeing any trouble either on 495 traveling towards the inbound to Lincoln. The Holland is also in great shape. Trains are all on or close to schedule. Alternate side parking rules and those meter rules suspended for the new year. Liz and Ben, back to you. Kelly, thank you so thank much. You. About one million people from around the world filled Times Square to ring in the new year. The crowd waited several hours to count down to 2016 and now that the celebration is over, the cleanup is underway. It's moving along pretty quickly as it always does. Fox 5's Robert Moses is standing in the midst of a pretty tidy Times Square just about eight hours after that big moment last night. Ben and Liz, good morning to you. It's really hard to tell that there was even the biggest party in the world here. The sanitation department has done a really good job considering the Herculean task it had. Just a few rogue pieces of confetti here littering the uh, plaza, but all in all, not too bad. All of the revelers, or most of them at least, are safe at home, nestled in their beds, and 2016 is upon us. While your New Year's resolutions may include eating less or exercising more, the Department of Sanitation resolved to get Times Square cleaned up fast. The department deployed nearly 200 workers with mechanical sweepers, blowers, brooms, and collection trucks to clean up the party hats, noisemakers, confetti, and other evidence of the fun that was had here. You think your parties get messy? Huh, you've got nothing on Times Square. Last year, the sanitation department says it removed more than 48 tons of debris. How much longer will your guys be out here? I mean, it looks like the task is pretty well done, but how much longer left? Well, what happens is right now we're probably about 85%, but we still get residual confetti that blows off the, the buildings, which puts us back down to 75. <laughs> so we have to recap, you know, streets and the locations, and, but we, we get it done eventually.
2016 got off to a rousing start as the confetti fell. Public displays of affection were totally okay, encouraged in fact. About one million people gathered here under the watchful eyes of nearly 6,000 police officers, seen and unseen. Despite fears of an attack, everything went off without a hitch. Those who gathered here waited for hours, which gave them plenty of time to look back on 2015 and make resolutions for 2016. Getting better grades. <laughs> to live more intentionally in everything I do. To be happy and travel around the world. I want to get it engaged. But why wait until 2016 to do that? When you marry me? <laughs> when you? Uh, 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 yes. She said yes! So that couple's new year is off to a very good start. She said yes, he's happy, and everything is all good. The barricades, many of them have been broken down. This had been a maze of barricades in Times Square, but now all the barricades and many of the people have gone home. All the best for 2016. Well, that is the latest live from Times Square this morning as the fire department says hello over there. Ben and Liz, back to you. Tell them we said hello as well, and nice work last night by uh, all involved. All right, Robert Moses, thank you very much. Thanks. 808 now, a raging inferno engulfed at a historic church in West Orange, New Jersey. Massive flames shot out of the roof and the windows of St. Mark's Episcopal Church on Main Street. The three-alarm fire was so dangerous it forced firefighters to pull back. In 1977, the church was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Then in 1996, it was listed as one of the ten most endangered historic sites in New Jersey. Wow, wow that flame video intense there. That's yeah, very sad. Mm -hmm. All right, an upstate New York man is accused of plotting a terror attack in Rochester on New Year's Eve. 25-year-old Emmanuel Lichman was arrested by the FBI yesterday. Fox 5's Antoine Lewis is here now with more on that terror plot that has affected some New Year's celebrations. Good morning to you. Absolutely it did, Liz. Now the New York suspect is being called a lone wolf, but German officials stop a plan involving multiple people. Federal authorities have charged 25-year-old Emanuel Lutchman with attempting to provide material support to terrorists. Lutchman is accused of planning a terrorist attack at a bar in Rochester on New Year's Eve. A career criminal, he allegedly got knives, a machete, ski masks, and ammonia from a Walmart to carry out his threat. According to court documents, Lutchman met with undercover informants to get information and instruction on executing a large-scale event targeting innocent people. We all must acknowledge that in today's day and age, that any place in the world can be a target. So we're asking our residents to be safe and vigilant, not just tonight, but every day and night. Prosecutors say Lechman described himself as an Islamic State brother, pledging an oath of allegiance to the ISIS terrorist group by agreeing to kill dozens on its behalf. Another New Year's Eve potential plot broken up this time in Germany. Munich officials say they got a tip that ISIS was planning attacks with five to seven suicide bombers. Authorities used Facebook to get the word out of a possible threat about an hour and a half before midnight. At least two Munich train stations were evacuated with police taking no chances with public safety. Local media outlets were reporting that the would-be bombers were Iraqi nationals known to German authorities. Back here at home, many are calling Lutchman's arrest a further reminder of the need to stay vigilant, and not just on major holidays, but all year round. Disaffected individuals are almost everywhere, and ISIS is preying on them. Uh, the redeeming quality is they communicate by the Internet, which gives us a good chance to catch them before they do their dastardly act. Now, the FBI used paid informants, undercover informants, to catch Lutchman, and French officials appear to have tipped off their German counterparts. Ben? All right, Antoine, thanks very much. A 10 now, a New Year's Eve tragedy on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. A man died in an elevator accident while saving the life of a woman. It happened around 11.30 last night inside this building on Broom Street. The Daily News says the 25-year-old man was in the stalled elevator, and when it began to fall, he shoved a 43-year-old woman out, but he was crushed when he tried to get out. Building residents told the paper it took 20 to 30 minutes for rescuers to arrive. Wow. Seems like a long time. Yeah, he was rushed to New York Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The building reportedly has three current violations for elevator defects.
All right, two teenagers have been arrested for beating and robbing a man in Brooklyn. The brutal attack in Midwood on Monday was caught on surveillance video. Police say the suspects punched and kicked the 55-year-old victim in front of a house on Avenue M, then took off with his wallet. The victim was treated and released. 17-year-old Eldon Sabovic and 19-year-old Baskim Husainovic have been charged with robbery and assault. The body of Staff Sergeant Louis Bonacasa has returned home to Long Island. Dozens of airmen stood in formation as the fallen hero arrived at Gabreski Air National Guard Base yesterday in West Hampton Beach. Sergeant Bonacasco was one of six American airmen killed last week during a suicide bombing in Afghanistan. He was serving his fourth tour of duty. Louis Bonacasa recognized the danger that fateful day on December 21st and moved aggressively to defend the people they were under his charge. A funeral for Sergeant Bonacasco will be held tomorrow morning at New Beginnings Christian Center in his hometown of Corum. Our thoughts and the prayers are with his family this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Comedian Bill Cosby is breaking his silence, but he's really not saying too much. In a simple tweet, he wrote, quote, friends and fans, thank you. The 78-year-old was arraigned in Pennsylvania this week on sexual assault charges. He's accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a former Temple University employee, Andrea Constant, back in 2004. Cosby's lawyers say the charges are no surprise, coming after a hotly contested election for county district attorney in that area in which his case was made a focal point. Meantime, his wife Camille Cosby must testify in a defamation lawsuit brought against her husband by seven women, women alleging sexual assault. They claim his statements denying the allegations were false and accusatory. Mrs. Cosby filed a motion to avoid giving testimony, but a federal judge denied that request yesterday. You said you were there. Uh, I know you were there this week, and uh, you Wednesday. said he looked... He did not look well. Bad, yeah. Yeah, just so aged. I mean, he's 78, but that cane, some people were saying maybe that's a front, but I, I'm telling you, he was not easy getting out of the chair and walking in and out of that courtroom. He needed the assistance mm. of his lawyers. Yeah. All right, switching gears now to something much more positive on this <laughs> January 1st. Of course, no New Year's morning show will be complete without telling you about the first baby of the new year. We love these stories, and the winner is little Zayden Noel. He was born exactly at midnight at Coney Island Hospital in Brooklyn. Zayden weighed in at 7 pounds, 1 ounce. He and mom Stephanie are doing just great. Coney Island Hospital also had the first baby of 2015, so it's keeping the streak going. All right, Mike Woods is off. He is... Um, Doing sleeping? who knows what this morning. Probably Recovery. sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> I joke. Samantha Algieri is in this morning for him. Good morning. Hi, guys. Good so morning. hopefully a lot of people are kind of sleeping in, especially if they were out late last night. Um, it was a nice night. Not too bad. Temperatures were near 40. It's where we are this morning, and we're going to be gradually turning colder into the weekend and next week. Today, your forecasted high temperature is 45. The normal is 39, so still a touch warmer than normal, but we're nowhere near the record high today of 62. So the record-breaking warmth that we had for December, is now gone. 39 is your temperature in Central Park, 38 Poughkeepsie, and 30 in Monticello. 40 right now. I slip good morning to you in Montauk at 42 degrees. We do have a westerly breeze, and it's going to pick up from time to time through the day today. Makes it feel colder than what it is. So right now, the wind chill is near 32. Just have that heavier jacket if you spend to uh, plan to spend any time outdoors today with your family. Now, it is kind of a gray start to the day, but there is drier weather just off to the southwest that will nose in. We also have lake effect snow showers northwest, but those snow showers are not reaching us. It's good news, actually, for some of the ski spots from Whiteface even into Vermont to be able to make some snow today, maybe get some fresh snow as well. Skies clearing out for your afternoon, enjoying some sunshine, a little bit brighter. Tonight we definitely clear out, and this is tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Looks like we're off to a good start for the first weekend of 2016. It's just going to be chilly out there, but really, as you can see, all the way into Sunday, no problems, and that's the start of a nice sunny but chilly stretch. So today, temps slowly get up to, I'd say, about 45, 1, 2 o'clock, and then we'll slip down into the 30s. This evening, it is going to be chilly, and a look ahead, we're at 41 tomorrow, 43 on Sunday, and that colder weather comes in for next week with temps in the 30s. Don't forget, you can get your daily and hourly 
forecast at any time through the day today or the weekend on the Fox 5 NY weather app. Find it at the Apple iTunes Store or the Google Play Store. Now we're going to get an update on your traffic with Kelly Dillon. Good morning. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. We do have a few trouble spots still working. Uh, still have this ongoing accident to clean up in Rutherford, New Jersey on Route 17, traveling northbound right by Union Avenue. All lanes are closed and detoured. Also an ongoing accident investigation in South Brunswick on northbound Route 1, uh, right by Dean's Lane. All lanes are still closed and detoured. A live look at the Grand Central Parkway right now where we're still working this accident. It's on the eastbound side, uh, just past the trees down there, but this is the backup right here. And this accident still taking out two lanes right by the Kew Gardens interchange. So definitely do avoid that spot. Pretty quiet on the BQE this morning, traveling towards the Brooklyn Bridge. And the trains are all on or close to schedule. Just do be aware they are running on holiday and weekend schedules today. And alternate side parking rules and those meter rules are suspended. Liz and Ben, back to you. Kelly, thank you so much. You. More than 2 million people gathered in Rio de Janeiro to ring in 2016. Yeah, 2016 could be a big year for Rio. They host the summer games, of course, mm -hmm. later on this year. 24 tons of fireworks lit up the night sky wow. for a little over 15 minutes. They also unveiled the Olympic rings for this year. Beautiful. Yeah, good day. Coming right back. Survival Suit by Joseph Abood with innovative fabric. A breathable chest piece with a lightweight construction and a slim fit designed to move with you. Available exclusively at Men's Warehouse. Dunkin' Donuts' unbelievable selection of breakfast sandwiches, freshly made all day. And now you can enjoy two English muffin egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches for $4. That's breakfast when abs. America runs on Dunkin'. Do you have bad credit? Is it a problem getting a car loan for any reason? We can help at Hudson Hyundai in Jersey City. No matter what your credit passed, there can be a new car in your future at Hudson Hyundai. Tier 1 customers can drive home any new Hyundai, like a new 2016 Elantra, for just $78 down. That's right. $78 down delivers any brand new 2016 Hyundai. Don't worry about your bad credit. Get to Hudson Hyundai. Call 1-800-934-4140 for pre-approval right now. Sleepy's is ringing in the new year with Doorbusters Friday through Sunday. Shop the first six hours and get Laura Ashley sets starting at $189 each piece. A free box spring with any sort of perfect sleeper mattress, up to a $300 gift card with Sleepy's huge selection of Tempur-Pedic, and closeout sheets, comforters, and pillows under $10 while supplies last. Plus, New Year's deals continue all day now through Sunday with up to 50% off. Sleepy's, the only mattress professionals. Critics are raving about The Big Short. It's the best film of the year. You want me to really blow your mind? And now it's nominated for four Golden Globes, including Best Picture. Kind of brilliant. It's gripping and surprising to the very end. It's happening. The Big Short. Rated R. Now playing. Ready to winter with Infinity. Now through January 4th, lease the all-wheel drive Infinity Q50 for $309 a month. Visit your tri-state Infinity retailer. Introducing the Joe Survival Suit by Joseph Abood with innovative fabric. A breathable chest piece with a lightweight construction. And a slim fit designed to move with you. Available exclusively at Men's Warehouse. This is New York. There's a lot going on, and you're not always in front of your TV. That doesn't mean you don't want to know stuff. Download the Fox 5 NY and Fox 5 NY weather apps to get New York news, weather, and more. Sure, we want you to watch us on TV, but sometimes you can't. Get our apps today and know stuff now. All right, across the pond in London, our friends in Britain counted down to midnight along with the bongs of the iconic Big Ben. ben. And of course, yes, <laughs> fireworks exploded over the River Thames. About 100,000 people celebrated together in central London. That's the eye there. It's I love seeing these pictures cool. across the world. It's yes. so neat to see how everybody celebrates. But 
People not celebrating in the financial world because no. stocks ended 2015 on a very sour note, posting their worst annual losses since 2008. Yeah, for the year, the Dow lost 2.2 percent. The S&P, which indexes a wider range of stocks, fell seven tenths of a percent for the year, with six of its 10 sectors seen losses. However, the Nasdaq did grow in 2015 by 5.7 percent. That is thanks to well-performing tech stocks, including <laughs> Netflix and Amazon. Yeah, not a great year generally on no. Wall Street. We had a couple of really big down days we earlier did. in the year. If you and the end that. of the year, too. Things yeah. were not looking good. No. All right, many of us have committed to resolutions as this new year gets underway, and the president is no exception to that rule. As Doug Lazada reports from Washington this morning, the Commander-in-Chief's 2016 pledges could have some wide-ranging impacts. Beyond working on his golf game, which appears much improved in recent years, <laughs> President Obama has a lengthy list of resolutions for 2016, and he will finish this vacation and 2015 with just over one year to advance his vision for America. We are going to squeeze every last ounce of, uh, of progress that we can make uh, when I have the privilege of, as long as I have the privilege of holding this office. And the other big goal for 2016? helping to defeat whatever Republican ends up winning the GOP nomination next year. He played more golf last year than Tiger Woods. No, think of it. Especially if it's We're Donald Trump, who appears to really get this. under the president's skin. I think we will have a strong Democratic nominee. I think that Democratic nominee will win. I think I will have a Democratic successor. And I will campaign very hard to make that happen for a whole variety of reasons. Well, for starters, it would be essential to keeping the president's agenda intact in coming years. But therein lies the delicate balancing act for the president in 2016, pushing items like gun control, uh, the Trans-Pacific Trade Deal, and even closing the prison at Guantanamo Bay, things that could be controversial, while at the same time making sure he doesn't alienate potential Democratic and independent voters come November. If he's serious about electing the Democratic nominee, he's going to have to find ways to be less controversial and to appeal to a broader section of the, of the public. Can he do it? I don't know. And no one really knows at this point, but it's clear that as his vacation winds to a close this weekend, the president will be looking ahead to a new year that could well determine what his legacy will really be. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News. All right, 823, New York City's bike share program has reached a new milestone. People took 10 million trips on city bikes in 2015. Officials say the milestone trip was taken at 1.08 p.m. yesterday. Ridership this year has increased 24% over 2014. The program has the highest ridership of any bike program in the nation and is on par with London and Mexico City. All right. 2015 will be remembered for a lot of things, and cutting the cord is apparently one of them. Yeah, record numbers of people ditched cable companies and have chosen to stream their entertainment. Media giants like Viacom, Disney, Time Warner, Comcast, and others have lost a combined 50 billion bucks this year because of dwindling subscribers, and the trend is expected to continue. I can All right. see that, yeah. Winning the Powerball. We were hoping to do it on Wednesday. We had a pool going here at Channel 5, but it didn't really work out for us so well. We actually didn't even win a single dollar. <laughs> We're just talking about this, yeah. <laughs> and we bought like 80 tickets, too. It was crazy. Anyway, uh, it would be an awesome way to start the new year if you could win Saturday night. Um, yeah, but there were no winners on Wednesday, so the jackpot is now worth 334 million bucks. Not bad. That's a cash value of around 205 million bucks. Still not bad. Saturday's drawing will be the 12th highest in Powerball history. The biggest Powerball, Powerball jackpots last year were 564 million in February and 310 million in September. All right, showing you some more celebrations from around the world. Hong Kong counted down to the new year with a celebration along its waterfronts. Victoria Harbor was alive with music on the ground and fireworks above. The spectacular display with the Hong Kong skyline while the people listen to the tra traditional New Year's song, Old Lang Syne. Good day. We'll be right back. It's Ernie Anastas, weeknights on Fox 5 News at 6. There are lots of reasons to love the holidays, and now during the Ford Holiday Sales Event, America's best-selling brand is giving you more reasons. Big savings and great deals on amazing vehicles, all offering the latest technology, performance, and style you'll love. So hurry to your Ford dealer for the best gift ever. During the Ford Holiday Sales Event, lease a 2015 Edge with all-wheel drive and leather for $249 a month.
Only at your local Ford dealer. It's that time again. Can't wait? Shop right corn and green beans, 12 for $3.96 and Star Kiss Solid White Tuna, 88 cents. Shop right's Can Can Sale is a blast! Performance. No matter where, no matter what. The only intelligent all-wheel drive system with enhanced driving performance for all-season capability is now available on more models than ever. We only make one thing. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Lisa BMW X3 xDrive 28i for $489 a month for a limited time only. There is no deal like a Bob's Discount Furniture Package deal. My Skyline Sofa and Love Seat is a terrific buy. Both pieces only $7.99. Cocktail and two end tables outstanding at only $1.99. Pair of lamps, only $100. Add them all up, it's a great value at only $10.98. Buy them all together and get all seven pieces at my package deal price of only $9.99. Mr. Competitor can't even come close. That's what I call an untouchable value. Only at my Bob's Discount Furniture. The holiday season is here, and it's time to celebrate. With the best savings of the year, we're making this holiday the happiest of holidays. Lease the 2016 Elantra for only $119 a month for 36 months, or enjoy up to $3,000 in total savings. Visit the Hyundai Holiday Sales Event today. The other night, when you put on makeup, I was like, there she is. On the next Modern Family, tonight starting at 7 on Fox 5. Next Wendy, Christy Brinkley. She shares her shortcuts to timeless beauty. I'll have what she's having. This morning he went yeah. out last night and had a good time, we hope. He did, it looks like he did. Yeah. He, he always at Times has Squ a good time. I've never been to Times Squares for yeah. either of I. Have for you? work in the morning the next either. day, yeah. but never it's for the actual It's a little rough. Event. I feel like I would be hungry and cold and no bathroom. Although <laughs> last night was a good night to go. It was not that cold. It was. It really wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. You know, temps were near 40. We've certainly had years where it was much colder. And now we're about to start to turn colder. As we head into the new year, temperatures will be going down a little bit. But, you know, really nice weather ahead. And it's winter after all. So we can expect it. Here's a preview of your weekend and look at that. We'll have some sunshine, mostly sunny skies, especially tomorrow. A few more clouds around tomorrow afternoon, but it's a good dry weekend. 41 is your high tomorrow with a breeze. It will feel colder. Wind chills 20 to 30 degrees. We've got more sunshine for you on Sunday and it's going to be really nice to brighten things up a little bit. We've had so many clouds around lately with the on and off rain showers. It's been a little bit unsettled right now at Central Park, still cloudy, but we have this west wind and that will bring in drier air through the day. You're at 39 degrees right now. The breeze does make it feel chilly, and that will be the story for your afternoon. Boston, 36 down to Philadelphia, 40. So chilly air, but it is colder north and west. The shading of light blue that you see from Detroit to Pittsburgh to Buffalo. That's the cold air that's starting to push in from Canada, and it's going to slowly trickle down in our direction through the weekend, especially next week. That's when we'll see the coldest weather. Mainly cloudy, lake effect snow sh uh, showers. Places like Buffalo up towards Rochester and Syracuse will be picking up some good snow accumulation from this. We're not going to see any of the snow. We will actually have increasing sunshine as dry air pushes on in. You can see it south and west. So these rain showers off the coast are moving away from us and really not too much to worry about. Today, 39 to 45 degrees is your temperatures. Northwest, it is a little bit colder and it will be breezy. So the breeze makes it feel chilly, but it's nice out there, kind of clearing things out a bit. Tonight we're down to 31, so back to the heavier jackets, the hats and the gloves through the weekend. Look at that sunshine, though. Really good stretch coming up for you here. Feels like January, feels like winter on Monday, 36. This is the first time that temps are below normal during the day. My gosh, really in months, it's been quite some time. Coldest day coming up on Tuesday at 33, and we'll hang on to the cold but sunny weather for Wednesday. And now we'll check out the roads with Kelly. We were saying, you know, earlier this morning, it was so busy out there. How are we now? It was like a rush hour driving in at 3 a.m. It was crazy, but right now it's really not too bad. Looks like most people finally went to bed, so the roadways are in great shape in terms of volume. Just a couple trouble spots are still going on this morning. Uh, let's start in New Jersey in Rutherford. Route 17 traveling northbound. We still have 
All lanes closed in detoured right by Union Avenue with this accident. Also in South Brunswick, northbound Route 1, uh, right by Dean's Lane. All lanes closed and detoured as well with that ongoing accident investigation. Now a live look at the Grand Central Parkway. On the eastbound side, we're still working this accident. It's, uh, this is the backup you're seeing. The accident is uh, just beyond these trees down there. It's blocking two lanes right by the Kew Gardens interchange. Uh, just a slight backup at this time, but of course you want to try to avoid that spot. Pretty quiet on the FDR Drive. Here we are right by 96th Street. Uh, northbound, southbound moving okay. Not too many cars on the roadway so far. And a nice ride for the trains this morning. They are all on or close to schedule. Just to be aware, they're running on holiday and weekend schedules. Alternate side of parking rules and those meter rules suspended for the new year. Liz and Ben, back to you. Kelly, thank you so thank much. Thank you. If you're a minimum wage earner in New York, get ready to see a bit more in your paycheck. That's right. The boost to 10.50 per hour for fast food workers in New York City is one of a lot of new laws taking effect across both New York State and the rest of the country. Fox 5's Juliet Huddy is live on the Upper East Side. Hello. Did you get yourself Hello, an you. egg McMuffin? No, I have not. I had my oatmeal this morning, as you saw, Bennett. I did um, see your I'd bizarre like say, oatmeal concoction, yes. Yes, well, it is a lovely oatmeal concoction, and that's a whole other story for another time for our cooking show that we'll someday have. But I want to say thank you. Thank you. It's a wonderful way to start off 2015 with you and your singing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm glad to know um, you were listening. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're a native yeah. New Yorker. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ben. Um, please do it a little bit later on, maybe after the show's over. But we got to talk about some uh, some uh, serious stuff here. Money. People here, they may be celebrating or they may not be celebrating anymore in Times Square, but a lot of folks, including the people who work here at McDonald's on Third Avenue and 84th Street, they're celebrating today. Fast food workers, restaurant servers, other min other minimum wage workers, after rallying and protesting, they are going to see their paycheck jump not a huge amount but you know a decent a decent amount and you know every little bit help the state's minimum wage is jumping from 875 to nine dollars an hour so you know it's basically a quarter not a huge bump but it is something for fast food workers you saw a lot of these folks over and over again at rallies across the city those fight for 15 rallies they wanted 15 dollars they'll be seeing a pretty decent job up ten dollars an hour up to ten dollars now rather for the folks who work in this very expensive city and then fast food workers who work outside the city go up to nine dollars and 75 cents an hour those bumps are helping inch towards that goal of 15 dollars an hour not everybody of course is cheering restaurant owners are not too thrilled uh, to say the least a lot of them feel like you know really they're not going to be able to sustain the number of workers that they hire they might have to fire people also they say hey look this is going to transfer over to you the customer you're going to have to pay more because we're going to have to charge you more um, women in other news, other laws that are going into effect. Women will be in the spotlight this year. They're getting more protection, including tougher penalties for human traffickers, tough new penalties as well for those who pay women less than men for the same job. Um, nationally, let's talk about a couple little items that I thought stand out. First of all, California, they're getting tighter gun control measures. Those will be going